My name is Doslin Kiguru. I'm a research associate at the University of Bristol, and I'm part of this wider um, research project that is on literary activism in sub-Saharan Africa. My work is uh, specifically focusing on the East African section uh, of the project. And um, my, our interest in this whole project is on um, activism, literary activism in various uh, formats of it because we are looking at activism from two perspectives, like having a double meaning. The first one is on the intersection between uh, literary engagement and social political activism. And the other one is activism in the form of opening up spaces where these works can be expressed. And that is where the work of literary translations into different uh, languages spoken in Kenya come in as a form of, um, it's one of the ways in which we look at literary activism. Uh, in this context, we are looking at platforms such as um, the Itweka Foundation or the Ngugi Wathiongo Foundation, platforms such as Jalada that are very uh, engaged with working uh, or producing literature that is in different languages, apart from um, the default for many cases, which is usually English or French uh, in this part of the continent. So basically, that's it. Uh, basically, when I talk about th the gap, in, uh, in writings or language gap in creative writing. And for example, let's, um, let's focus on Kenya alone, is that we have a lot of Kenyan literature that has been produced over the years, from the first time that we had uh, something that's produced within this geographical region as it, even before we had the name Kenya. However, you realize that most of these works would be in English, then uh, the next language would be Kiswahili, and then there will be fewer others in the other languages are spoken in the country, but not all of them. I think, the, as I said earlier, the Bible, the translations of the Bible, that's one of the projects in which um, it went deeper into many different languages that are spoken uh, in the country. And outside of the religious aspect of that, the other project that we have to nod to is a TKK book projects that were a product of the Kenyan government, the Ministry of Education, which were taking stories, local stories, and translating them into very many different languages that are spoken around the country. And this was a project, I think, of the Longhorn uh, publishers from the late 60s all the way to the 80s. But after that, it has been quite hard to get works that are specifically written in these other languages or that are translated into these other languages. And we have so many reasons for that. One of it will be looking at the economics of publishing and what that means. The other one would be like we are lacking a standardization of language or the orthography of different uh, languages that are spoken around. And that means that everybody is like creating their own text and sometimes uh, they don't intermarry with each other, meaning that we keep repeating the same things. So maybe that's what is creating the gap, but that's something that uh, we are investigating in the whole research project. So these ones are just my um, intelligent guesses. That's another thing that I'm um, part of my interest, research interest in this project, looking at how multilingual Kenya is, looking at how uh, in the kind of normal conversation in, or in, in formal setups, the fluidity of language is so, so evident, such that in one, uh, in one paragraph or in one breath, somebody might end up speaking more than three different languages, and communication will actually take place. However, we are not able to translate that into text, into the written text, but it's very, it's very alive in our spoken, um, conversations. That's one gap that is missing between how we speak and how we write. And one of the ways that have been used to close that gap would be the adoption of Sheng as a language that is spoken in this country, and then the use of Sheng as a literary language. And we must acknowledge the work that Kwani did in terms of uh, producing literatures, even if sometimes they were short um, short pieces, but they produce literature that was written in Sheng. I know there are other avenues that do that, but that is one of the ways in which we are moving forward, acknowledging that there is a multiplicity of language, there is a fluidity of language in our daily conversations, and there is a need to capture that uh, and um, 
acknowledge that we can create literatures in the ways that we speak so that we do not lock out other people that probably Eng the standard English is not, they're not conversant with it and they're not conversant with the standard Swahili or they're not conversant with the standard Gikuyu or Ekegusi or whatever, but they are conversant with the in-between language. I'm very, I'm very happy about the nature of discussion that is ongoing and the fact that the facilitators for this uh, specific project are very uh, people that are very well, they are knowledgeable in their craft. They are people that have practiced and been working in this field for a long time. And you can see the guidance, the mentorship that is supposed to even uh, take place after the workshop. You can already see that it's going well. And the fact that the, the writers in this workshop are very active in engaging with each other, learning from each other as well as from the facilitators. And that's basically, that's what we were looking, we are looking forward to achieving and we see it happening. And the other good thing is that this workshop or this, uh, the, this creative process is, is not designed to end with a workshop in itself because the reality is the workshop only takes place to, uh, two to three days, right? And Probably that might not be enough time to engage critically, uh, to have a, a critical engagement between the workshop facilitators and the participants. But this is uh, curated in such a way, and we have to acknowledge Kilolo for this. It's curated in such a way that it will be a mentorship process that goes beyond the two, three days workshop.